Coming up on Tech Talk, I'm going to show you how to transfer your VHS tapes from your VCR and your 8mm tapes from your camcorder. Make them digital so you can edit them on your Mac. That's coming right up right now. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is some kind of hardware to get it inside your computer. Now I had this ITV hybrid stick a couple of years back so I could hook up a cable box and watch TV on my Mac. And it worked fairly well. And I stumbled across an old VHS tape and thought, there's got to be some way to put this thing in there. And sure enough, there is. Um, they, they have a dongle that you can connect to the tuner stick. As you can see, the... It, hooks to the side so you can put a, an S an S video or um, RCA cables. So I was able to put the RCA cables up and then hook that up to the v, uh, VHS VCR recorder and get it into it. And um, once you get that hooked onto the dongle, connect your RCA cables to the USB extended cable and then you plug that right back into the back of the machine, into one of your open USB ports. Now plug the other RCA cables into your line out on the back of the VCR. And you're ready to go. Now let's get into how the software works. Open the program, your software program that you're using. In this case I'm using ITV. And on ITV, you want to go to New Recording Window. And I can't do it because I don't have the VCR hooked up right now. So what I'll do is I'll go to an old live recording that I had. But this would be in a New Recording Window. Is it The VCR is running through, running into the computer right now. So then all you would do is go and hit Record. And it'll start recording it. And it's recording right to your hard drive. And then when you're done, you just hit stop record, and then it'll save it. Once you've recorded all your tapes to your hard drive, they're still not editable. You're going to have to convert them quick to QuickTime movies. And in ITV, they go into a native folder, and then you have to convert them. And this is how you're going to do it. First, go to Finder, open up your Documents folder. In there, you'll see an ITV art folder. Actually, I haven't been using it. I haven't been going to a different one. But I'll say ITV Archive. Open that up. And that's where your live recordings or the record your VHS tapes have been recording. Double-click on one to open it. And then just from the file menu, just go to Choose Export. And then it'll, sit, it'll name it, or you can rename it find your destination, I'm going to the desktop, hit save, and you see on the right it's appearing on my desktop. It takes a few minutes depending on how long it is. could take 20-30 minutes to convert and then it will be a editable QuickTime movie. And it's very easy to see when it's finished because it'll pop up and then you can see that it is a movie. And then you can put it in and edit it. Okay, for the video 8 tapes, I use this Sony Handycam and pretty much hooked it up the same way except there was only one audio port so I connected it white to the audio and yellow to the video out and then of course the same way that I hooked it up with the VCR same exact way through the USB stick to the computer and uh, that's pretty much it and as far as exporting them and in the ITV, everything is the same. Overlooked, make sure you mark all your tapes that you've transferred over because you can get really confused fast, believe me. Just a couple final notes. There is nothing out there that allows you to put a cassette inside a cassette and put it in a VHS recorder. I googled it and it looked like there's possibilities, but then when I did more research, there's nothing like that. There's the DV tapes, the digital video tapes, that you could put in a, uh, a VHS uh, cartridge and then play it into a recorder, but you can't do it with a 8mm one anyway. So keep that in mind.
Keep something else in mind. Analog tapes take a lot of hard drive space, so be cognizant of that and make sure you have plenty because you're going to fill it up fast. But once you convert them all, all to um, QuickTime movies and you can delete the other uh, files because you won't need them anymore, um, you should regain some space. So um, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.